What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to another Zer's Day video. He has got a fresh new stock for the Iron Banner week. As you can see, the Iron Banner flags, ribbons. He's playing Iron Banner and going up against some odd connections tonight. I felt like it was better yesterday on the PS4. Uh, and I just actually had to switch over on, back onto the PS4 because I couldn't connect on the Xbox, oddly enough. Anyways, that is completely besides the point. Here we are with uh, Zer over in the bar. Damn. This is the stock. Not exactly exciting. Uh, Imperium Bellicose, if you don't have this, this is actually... This is a decent exotic. Um, it allows you to... Aiming weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time. And orbs collected while your super is full will recharge your melee ability. It's like Angel of Light. I think it's called Angel of Light for the, um, for the Sunsinger on a Warlock. It grants pretty much that ability. It's pretty cool. You can be, uh, I know True Vanguard likes to use it a lot, and I've seen him do some awesome stuff with it. So, it comes with increased intellect, increased discipline, hands on, heavy lifting, and infusion for that helmet right there. Then we got Skyburner's Annex for the Hunter. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs. Orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. It comes with increased intellect, increased discipline. Hands-on, heavy lifting, and infusion on this helmet. Uh, this helmet, this helmet was good in the beginning for when I was raiding, but I don't really have a a need for it as it is now. The chance to create orbs on uh, on heavy weapon kills is nice. It's kind of like a defender titan, so you can get that kind of perk for your hunter. But it's pretty situational, I will say. And then finally, we have the alchemist raiment for the warlock. Iron to gold. Chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickups. Orbs collected when your super is full. Recharge your grenades and melee. It comes with increased strength, increased intellect, special ammo, or heavy ammo. That's always a nice uh, option right there. Arc burn defense and arc armor. This is definitely a situational exotic. Not used, not used by many. <laughs> uh, I can't really recommend it. Finally, we have the Thunderlord machine gun. This is obviously a, a great machine gun. Uh, its perk is lightning rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. And it has a hidden perk. Um, it also has a hidden perk of chaining lighten, lightning uh, upon damage, I believe. Damage or kills. Can't exactly remember. It is a great weapon. However, it does take up an exotic slot when a lot of other heavy machine guns do a good job as well. So your mileage is definitely going to vary. Overall, not that great of a week from Xur. Would have been nice if he brought Twilight Garrison or the, the Tarantella. Um, also, he's got a chest legacy engram. So, if you're missing anything from year one in the chest department, you could pick it up through here if you uh, use your strange coin. And finally, we got glass needles so you can re-roll these exotics for better stats, hopefully. And then three a coin, the preferred method of getting exotics now. And then heavy ammo synth, stealth drive, and plasma drive, and the, obviously the mode of light exchange. What are you going to do? There's definitely a drought in, in content right now, so there's not a whole lot that you can expect Xur to bring, you know, except for specific weapons that you might need. Anyways, guys, that is it for Xur. Thank you so much for watching. If you're hanging out in the stream, I really appreciate it. Again, I do the Xur's Day streams on Thursday nights after the podcast on the Twitch channel, which if you did not know that, also, we do the podcast live, and it's been awesome. Everybody uh, showing up for the support. You guys are amazing. Really, truly appreciate the support. And like I said, if you want to check out the podcast, it's on Thursday nights, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And then about an uh, hour and a half afterwards on that podcast, usually around 10 p.m. Pacific time, I start the Zerd stream. Again, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next week. Peace.